Hello there friends! My name is April San Pedro and I'm a maker and artist and I like sharing my process and some tips on the things that I normally do. Um, so in this video, I want to share with you a tip how to actually clean your clear stamps. Now if you're into stationery, a journaler, um, someone who just like crafting, I'm pretty sure you're quite familiar with stamps. Now there are different kinds of stamps like there's one with a wooden handle and there's also a rubber stamp which doesn't need to have a handle but it's just made of rubber but you can stamp on it directly. And there's this also what we call clear stamps. So nowadays, the newer version of the clear stamps is made out of photopolymer material. So it's still the same as before, like it's clear, it's rubberish, but it's more sturdy and more thicker. So it's easier to use or to me, I think I kind of like this one because it kind of feels that it's thicker and it feels like they will last longer. And I also noticed um, my clear stamps before, for some reason, they just have this um, oil or it becomes oily once stored. So the newer version of the stamps, which is made out of photopolymer, is way better. Like I haven't noticed any kind of like there's a sign of oil residue or something, something like that. Now, I love using stamps for my journaling, um, for my planners, or simply for anything, like for tags or <laughs> labels. Um, but I think the clear stamps gives you this convenience that you can bring them anywhere with you without so much bulk in your um, bag or pouch. Not unless, of course, you're gonna bring the entire stash. <laughs> if you wanna bring with you different designs, then this is quite convenient because just like this one, I have two different um, stamp sets with different designs and I only have this to bring with me. So it's very much convenient and um, compact. Now in this video, I want to share with you how to clean your stamps. This also applies for the rubber stamps, but I want to focus more with the clear stamps or the photopolymer stamps. As you can see here, this has been used like almost all the time that I journal or plan. So I always bring this with me in my journal pouch. And as you notice, they are already well used. And some of them are not sticking very much on the acetate. Um, so what I learned the hard way, if you let your stamps um, become unsticky eventually, um, there's a big tendency that you might lose one of the letters, which what happened to me just recently <laughs> that I just noticed. So I have one like this in uppercase. But then I noticed one letter, I think the letter E was missing because the letters wasn't really sticking that much anymore. And so yeah, so when I, I, I think when I used, when I use it and then packed it away, I just didn't notice one of the letters fell off. So yeah, so I have one set of alphabet clear stamps that's one letter missing. That's the reason why every now and then you should be cleaning your clear stamps. Plus, if your stamps are clean, the ink pads will stick properly as well and it will look sharp or crisp on your paper. So let's gather the things that you will be needing to clean your stamps. Well, it's actually just um, few kitchen things. Of course, you will be needing your clear stamps. If you have the older version, which is the which is made of acrylic, I think it's better to clean those more often than this because, like I said a while ago, those old clear stamps tends to have um, an oil residue when it's stored. So I will be teaching you different style. So let's let's say you you have the time and you wanna clean up all your stamps all at once. You will be needing a tub of water with 
liquid soap. And then, um, a towel or wipes. This one. Now, I prefer using wet wipes because it doesn't break that much compared to the regular tissue. If you also have a white cloth or a thin cloth, that would also be fine. But for now, I just want to use wet wipes so I can just throw it right after I clean them up. Now, this is the one method that you can use if you have, if you want to do a general cleaning for your clear stamps. Okay, so let's do this first and I'll teach you the short method um, next. So what you're going to do is just simply dump all your letters or all the stamps on the water with a mixture of liquid soap. There's no specific ratio or amount of liquid soap. It's up to you whether you want to put more soap or few. Just make sure though that you check all the letters, especially if you're cleaning alphabets and numbers right after you're done cleaning. So just dump them all inside just like this. And then you can actually let it stay for a few minutes, like for maybe five. I wouldn't recommend overnight because these are made of photopolymer. Um, basically a bit of a rubber texture so if you put this in water overnight it might probably affect the quality of your clear stamps it's either it's gonna be a bit too soft or i don't know maybe it will absorb water I'm not sure so i wouldn't really recommend putting it overnight or soaking it overnight so what i'm doing here is i'm just trying to rub the alphabets with my fingers trying to clean them using my fingers so as you can see here some of the inks are already gone now you can also use an old toothbrush or any brush if you are too meticulous when it comes to the ink pads that are still stuck on the corners of your letters so just like this one um, so if you're too met meticulous that you really want to clean it up you can use brush but in this video and in my case, I don't really mind having those little bit of inks on the letters because it doesn't matter to me. What matters to me or the reason why I like cleaning my, my stamps is because I want them to stick better on the acetate and at the same time, the ink pad will stick better as well. So that's the only reason. So that's the reason why I really like cleaning my clear stamps but i'm not so meticulous when it comes to like really getting into the nitty-gritty or the corners of the alphabets just like this one okay so i think this is pretty much okay now what you can do is you can get another tub with clean water without the soap and you can transfer all the letters from there and then you can transfer all the alphabet or the, all the stamps from here to the clean water tub. Okay, so now I transfer them to a cleaner water. Now as you can see here, there are still a few um, ink pads left on the letters, but I don't mind having that like I said a while ago. So now that they're on the clean water, all you have to do is just wipe them off with a clean cloth or like what I'm using here it's wet wipes and then you can also put alcohol in case your wipes is already dry so it will make your cleaning easier plus it will help you clean your alphabets even more so just like this so as you notice I don't need brush anymore I just have to wipe it properly with wipes and then that's it now before putting them on the acetate i want to wipe it with a cloth as well so just all the inks that were left here will be removed as well so you can see even the acetate is also dirty and by wiping it off it will make your stamp stick even better so 
Once you're done cleaning, make sure to put them back right away. So with no right away, if you have letters missing. So there. Okay. So it's so easy and it makes your clear stamps look a little bit brand new. Not quite, but at least it's a clean one and you'd be inspired to do stamping again, having a clean stamp. Now, as for the easiest way or shortcut way to do to do it or how to clean your clear stamps, I actually showed it a while ago. There's no secret to it. All you need is an alcohol. All you need are alcohol and wet wipes. Now, I use this most of the time if I'm already journaling and I notice that there are stamps that needs to be clean and it needs more sticking then I just wipe them off with wipes and alcohol and you're good to go so just like this so if let's say you're already journaling and you notice the stamps aren't sticking well anymore and the ink pad isn't really that crisp when you stamp it on the paper then just use this technique and it will help for stamps to stick properly again this stamp is made of acrylic compared to this which is a photopolymer material um so this is softer which i think you cannot see it in the video but this is really soft and there's an oil residue but this one is thick and really sturdy so you won't get scared so you will feel a bit um, comfortable when using it compared to this one, like it's a bit delicate. So yeah, like this one. So I noticed that for old stamp materials, they have this oil residue. So it becomes less sticky and it gives you less crisp when you stamp it on the paper. If you're on the go, all you had to do is just Clean it with alcohol and wipes. Wipes will actually do the, the trick if you don't have an alcohol. But I think the alcohol helps you clean the stamp even more. Like it gives this, it makes the acrylic dry. So if you notice, like alcohol makes your hand dry, right? So it kind of does the same thing on the stamps as well. So, so there you go. I'm gonna keep cleaning all this later on, but I wanna show you um, what it looks like now. Just in case this is the first time you've seen clear stamps or you're not quite familiar with this. Um, so if you buy a clear stamp, you would also be needing an acrylic block. This will be your handle for your clear stamp. So instead of the wood handle, you will need this one so the convenient part here is like all you need is a one acrylic block or if you prefer a smaller one for your alphabets that would also be nice um with me i only have one or two acrylic blocks but i think i having a small one would also be nice so it's not that hard to stamp especially the small ones but anyway so you'll need acrylic block and of course your usual ink pad now the difference between having the acrylic material and the photopolymer material this ones which are the photopolymer they are quite nice when you use um, pigmented or dye inks because they're very thick and sturdy as for the acrylic ones I'm um, sure you can still use them but it's not quite as pleasant as using this material so let's just try using it so this one is already clean so there so there you go friends i hope you were able to pick up something from this quick tip i'll be sharing more tips when it comes to stamping on my next few videos let me know in the comments if you have questions or if you want to know something else i am thinking of sharing with you the differences between ink pads when it comes to stamping so let me know if you have anything in mind that you want to learn or you want to ask about i'd be happy to answer them for you all right so thank you so much for watching friends and 
if you don't have clear stamps yet i hope this inspired you to go check some of the clear stamps out there one of my few favorites now this one is from scrapbook.com they have different um stamps with from different brands but they also have their own brand which is the scrapbook.com now i always have this with me because it's very compact and they have this in upper and lower case so if you want to bring this with you then it's just small and it's just perfect for journaling or for planners now i also love using illustrated faith stamps i have different varieties of fonts as well from their creative team they also have few other stamps that you can use for journaling for especially for bible journaling now one of the reasons why i probably got hooked with clear stamps is heidi swap uh, so her stamps are just so gorgeous she has this monthly subscription which she called stamp society every time i watch her videos i just got hook and i just love using stamps and the way she used her stamps and it's just so nice so i guess she's the reason why i got really hooked up i will link their websites in the description so you can check them out in case you fancy one of the stamps and i this is actually just one eighth or probably one sixteenth of my stamp collections uh so if you want to hoard or just want to check out a few things that you might be needing and that will actually encourage you to journal some more, go ahead and do so. So, alright, um, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you again on my next one. Bye!